Get ready, because you're about to be an ATL. -L the cast had to pay for a reshoot. That's coming next. That's coming next. <sighs> Y'all be getting ahead of me so quickly. Oh my God. So um <clears throat> Y'all remember when I leaked the text over on my Patreon, on my Pantheon, as Candy would call it, about the ladies wanted to go to Bravo, um, about, you know, having, be, being reimbursed for certain things that they pay for, uh, glam, um, you know, breaks, whatever the case may be, that, you know, they, they pay for everything. Bravo just pays them as an independent contractor. They don't get health care. They don't get a lot of things. I explained to her what the text was. I repeated that, listen, I understand that you already sent in a request. I don't want to go behind you because if I go behind you or any of us girls go and ask the same thing, now you got confusion. And anytime you're in a movement, everybody has to be th speaking the same thing. So fast forward to today, this whole new cast of The Real Housewives of Atlanta has a new uh, cast photo, but oddly enough, Bravo didn't pay for it. Hold on. Shout out to Radiance and all y'all over in Discord for putting this in Discord, because y'all know I was not paying attention until I seen it, but they got a whole new, hold on, let me make it big. They got a whole new picture that they paid for themselves, okay? They said, I guess they didn't like what the picture looked like. Uh, they didn't like the, the way things were going. And they decided that they would do a cast photo. The ladies all chipped in together. How do we know? Because the photographer actually confirmed it. Now, here's one of the Housewives blogs who said the ladies got together and did their own cast photo. I am Eric Robinson graphic. Yes, ladies, for getting a professional one done. Okay, so wait, here is what... Um, Eric even said, okay, thanks for sharing my work with the ladies of RHOA. I appreciate all of them for hiring me to do the jobs for them. <sighs> Somebody else said, I believe this photo shoot is completely separate from Bravo and is done entirely by the outside photographer. Our ATL girls are taking the promo into their own hands. Now, uh, and what look, Bravo pay for all these other ladies to do photo shoots all the time. Now, all of a sudden, the Housewives of Atlanta got to dip into their pockets, these big dummies. But I digress. Now, they said Kenya hints the women are even going above and beyond on their own dime to promote the show and claim the number one spot. Look, that you know they didn't dip their ratings. Nene has, you know, every, all of Nene's fans have left. They have called for a boycott. They have not recovered since. Candy Show is in the dust. And you would think the Candy Show, you know, since it's the lead into the Real Housewives of Atlanta, would be a precursor of what's to come as far as these ratings are concerned. Well, how is it that now the women got to go into their own pockets to promote the show and claim the number one spot? She said some recent behind the scenes clips of the ladies filming on a green screen will be released as a fun project. They went in on together to drum up excitement for season 14. <laughs> All of this is just crazy to me. So it kind of proves Nene's point of in her um, lawsuit. She even says, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me zoom in on the lawsuit, honey. Hold on. Let me put it up here so we can talk about this too. Uh, in the lawsuit, it says, as had occurred in the past, NBC, Bravo, and True continued the underlying systemic discrimination by continuing to treat Black housewives and their shows as second class and inferior to the white housewives and their shows. This differential race-based treatment across the different shows manifests itself in many ways including without limitation and offered merely by way of example. One, the trips planned for the RHOA show were typically inferior trips to less prestigious, desirable locations. Remember I told y'all about that? They was going to, to Destin, Florida, and Savannah and all that. And two, the manner of travel to attend the trips was far inferior. 
As one example, the RHO-8 were supplied an old Sprinter bus to drive from Atlanta to Florida, which ended up having a flat tire on the way. In marked contrast with the luxurious private jets that the White Housewives will often take on their vacation trips. And three, the glam, i.e. hair, makeup, etc., offered to the Black Housewives and their shows was less than and inferior to what was offered to the White Housewives and their shows. And wait, number four, the promotional materials. <sighs> so you got these ladies over there paying for their own promo. And Nene already spoke about this in the lawsuit. <laughs> All of this is coming out, and I'm just sitting back here watching. Y'all are proving this lady point. Y'all are proving this woman's point. Nene had to pay for an upgrade at one point. Right. Remember when they was in Barcelona? They was in that raggedy Airbnb, and they was like, we is not staying here. And then they ended up going to another place. Like, there are examples, and all of these examples are documented. So all of you who keep saying that Nene, Nene ain't got no case, this is some bullshit, Listen, we got months, we got years. This is going to come out. It's going to come back little by little by little by little. And I'm sitting here eating my popcorn and watching because I'm not going to give y'all everything at one time. I keep telling y'all I want some of these other people to do some work because I am not in these mouthpiece, but I will keep talking. Man.